Hi guys, welcome to the clinical vignettes. Let's see the vignette number two. So this is a patient having a ptosis with complaint of eyelid drooping varies with a day. He is also having restriction in the mobility of his eyes. What is not true of this condition? So first of all, we have to find out what is this condition? This patient is having ptosis and this ptosis is varying. So there are three things. Whenever you have any of these three in the ptosis, it can be the variability. Like here, there is a variability during the day. Or number two, we can have asymmetrical ptosis. Between the two eyes, if we are having asymmetrical ptosis. And number three will be the easy fatigability easy fatigability so whenever you get any of these three things always remember that this tosis will be due to ocular myasthenia gravis this is a very very important victim so already you have easy um, variability within a day so we know that this is a case of ocular myasthenia gravis so what is not true of this condition? Number one improves with putting the eyes back over the eyes. So this is a true condition. We can do the eyes test here. So yes, this is true. Number two, eye peak sign is due to levator muscles. I'll come back to this. Medial rectus is the first muscle. So this is also true because this is a condition of the neuromuscular junction. So where we have autoantibodies, all right? Autoantibodies are formed against the acetylcholine receptors. So here we have these autoantibodies and therefore pupils will be normal. There is no nerve palsy here, right? And what is the first muscle to be affected? It is the medial rectus muscle. Now there are two important signs here. One is the lit twist sign. One is the lit twist sign, which is due to the LPS muscle. And another is the eye peak sign. Eye peak sign is due to the orbicularis oculi muscle. Orbicularis oculi muscle. So we will try to understand both. LPS muscle ka function kya hai? It is helping in elevation of the upper eyelid. So there's a lit twist sign because in the myasthenia we can have the asymmetrical involvement. So one side is normal, it is able to go up. But another side which has the myasthenia gravis that will have easy fatigability. So this is able to maintain but as soon as this one will go up, it will quickly come down because of easy fatigability. So this is your lit twitch sign. All right. Now second is the eye peak sign. Eye peak sign kya hai? It is due to orbicularis oculi. So if I ask the person to close the eyes, again the normal will be able to close the eye but because of the easy fatigability of orbicularis oculi, the eye which is having myasthenia gravis starts opening up like this. This is called as eye peak sign. Peeping of the eye within the eyelids. From the eyelids. This is called as eye peak sign. So if you go to the question now, they are saying eye peak sign is due to the levator muscle, which is wrong. Eye peak sign is due to the orbicularis oculi muscle, while levator muscle will lead to the lit twist sign. This will lead to the lit twist sign. If you see this, medial rectus is the first muscle, normal. This is true and pupils are unaffected. This condition is also true. Therefore, answer to this question is B. I peak sign is due to the levator muscle. So I hope you have understood this, a very, very important integrated topic, medicine with the ophthalmology and looking at the ocular aspect of myasthenia gravis. Happy ophthalmology.